and welcome to Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McElroy. And I'm Taylor Smurl. Hey, sisters, we got spirit. Yes, we do. How about you? Woo, go school. What is going on? <laughs> we this did is, it. This it's is a dream, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's spirit week for Riley. It is. She's oh, overflowing with spirit. All that spirit. And it's infectious. I hung around her for five minutes, and now I have, I got spirit. Yes, I do. Go green and gold. Woo. You know, I'm just getting over a cold, so I don't know if I should be in the same room with this highly infectious spirit. It's my immune system's a little weak right now. Oh. Uh, well, uh, this is this is the kind of thing you want to be infected with, Taylor. Except what I don't really the, like what are the few? School spirit. <laughs> I don't really have school spirit. I just like dressing up. Uh, that it's really Spirit Week is really exciting, though. Well, I guess okay. There are probably some people that might not have had a Spirit Week, or maybe don't know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's the week leading up to our homecoming football game and homecoming dance, where every day is a different theme of what outfit you should wear. Right. We do not mean spirits. In see, this could be a confusing term. This could be. Very you could confusing. think by having spirit, we mean we are drinking alcohol. See, that's not what I'd think, but there are two well, types of people. Two thirds of us are not drinking alcohol, so that would not be. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be about ghosts, and if it was about either of those two spirits, or especially both together, I would be so down. Like well, then just you'd have a Halloween week. S- spooky Ooh. drunk week. Woo! Spirits and spirits. Could that be a party theme? Spirits and spirits. Yeah, oh, and man. it's ghosts and booze. Not for you, not for you, Riley. (laughs) Here at Still Buffering, we want to have our own spirit week that centers around. No, I am having a Halloween party. Spirits and spirits. That's a whole other thing. No, no, no. the only only, spirits, the only booze that better be at that party should be coming from the ghosts. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That was a dad joke. There are so many like correlations here between these two types of spirits. I don't think we're taking the time to truly appreciate them. This is a much less creative version of the. What are those parties they have in the UK? The tarts and vickers parties. (laughs) Just booze and booze. Spirits and spirits. (laughs) Booze and booze. (laughs) <laughs> this is a much less creative version of oh, wait, okay. Spirits. <laughs> we just like ghosts, okay? Spirits and booze. The spirits is for ghosts. The booze uh-huh. is for booze. Yes. But it can go either way. It can go either way. It can go either way. I mean, yeah. like, boo. Spirits is, spirits is alcohol and booze is booze. We don't mean any of these kinds of spirits. We also don't mean anything like spiritual. No. 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 We are not crossing into that realm. Nope. Not at all. Uh, we are talking about the kind of spirit that you're infected with when, like, you hear the rustle of pom-poms and the the thump of the marching band. I think that incites my fight-or-flight <laughs> reaction. <laughs> like, <laughs> when, you, when, when the team rushes the whole ball across the line down the field. What's that called? Do <laughs> you even know what that's called? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna at some point I'm gonna stumble into our fight song if I keep saying words like this. I keep waiting for it. To I happen. don't know our fight song. We had a fight song. Take that old ball down the field and make a mighty score. Rah, rah, rah. I don't think that's, that's still actually our... Beverly Hills. Never yeah, I don't mind. think that was our middle our school <laughs> fight song. Uh, no, I know Huntington Highs too. How did you not? Well, you're not in choir. No, just chamber did choir not... knows it. Were you never in choir either? No. Chamber choir doesn't exist anymore because they're defunding the arts slowly, so. That sucks. I We had to sing it in show choir, though. Oh. We are the Highlanders of Huntington. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. So I knew that. And then I also know the alma mater. I don't know that. Um, but I only know the alto part, so I won't <laughs> sing that for you. <laughs> That's going to sound weird. That's going to sound... I actually... I learned it in choir and because we had to sing it at... I think at pep rallies and at the opening game, the alma mater, not the fight song, which was like a really somber opening. Yeah, now we sing the fight song. It was very strange. But I, I then took a piano class at school and I learned how to play it on the piano. Mm-hmm. And I still only knew the alto part to sing. So I would play it and just sing the alto <laughs> part, which was, you know, not, it was not melodically pleasing. No, it's just there to not, compliment the soprano part. It's not a sonically Ain't pleasant that the truth experience for altos. For <laughs> Only there to compliment the sopranos. Okay, so we're talking about 
we're talking about school spirit. And so neither of you know the fight song or the alma mater. They are the Huntington. Yeah, okay, that's not. <laughs> You're just kind of making noises, and then at some point you can say rah, 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 and that does not pass off as a fight song. That was the fight song I was just doing. I know the words, I know the tune. You don't have anything over there, Tay? We like footballs and winning things. We have school on a hill. Is that part of it? <laughs> nope. Okay. Guys. No. <laughs> So I can see school spirit was lacking with you two. Uh, I like having school spirit in the sense that I get to wear costumes every day this week. <laughs> I like wearing costumes. That that's so. I'm assuming everybody has this. I like had this idea at their school, or does now if they are currently in school that like you should have school spirit. That you should have some affinity for your school. It's a wonderful day to be on the hill. <laughs> they say that. Yep. Oh, no. It's a big banner across our main concourse. See that, and it's it's this idea that not only should you enjoy the process of learning, because that seems like that makes sense to me that we should encourage people to like being at school because you're learning things, and when you leave here, you will know things you didn't before, and so you'll be more interesting in conversation. I don't know, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> however they intrigue you with learning. Uh, but the, it's also that you should particularly love your school above all others and not just your school is like a building and a collection of, you know, teachers and faculty and, and, you know, assistants or whatever, and also like yeah. rooms and books and supplies, but like you should also love your school as an, as an idea and your sports ball teams, right? And your, all of your sports teams. Yeah. Mostly the football team, which I find pretty offensive for the other teams, even though I'm not on any of them. Yeah. yeah that- that's, I was I was on the tennis team all throughout my uh, high school career, and we we were we performed really well. Like especially my senior year, we we took the whole state. And I, I remember there like all the pep rallies. They were always about the football team and whatever, which is fine. But it's like they were also having one of the worst seasons they'd ever had. And it was just kind of funny. Like hey, we we won again. We won all the time. Yeah. We did so good for you guys. No, no, no one cares. Yeah, yeah we have signs up along our hill because when we say up on a hill, it literally is. There's one entrance and one exit. It is the same road up this very long hill. It yep. takes five minutes to get up. Um, but we have signs all along the edge of it that have our different sports championships for the different years for every year of the school. And there are like 10 basketball championships. And this school is pretty new. I mean, what, 1990? Eight? Six? Seven? Eight? No, okay. no, I guess you're right. It would have been like 97 because I was the first class to go all the Four way through years. it, I think. And you graduated no, in 2000. No, never mind the second. One? Yeah, 2001. So it was like 96, 97. You're okay. Right. So yeah, it's a fairly new school. Um, So, I mean, there are like 10 basketball championships and a bunch of tennis championships, like five or six for boys and girls. No football t- state championships. Wow, you're really knocking ever. on the football team now I know. here, aren't you? Well, it's true. I mean... You can ask anyone at my school. We have a good football team. Every year we make it to the playoffs. Like for the state, we make it to the final four or final two even. But we haven't won any year <laughs> that we've been in school. Now, Riley, I'm going to call you a little bit. Of, I'm going to call you out a little bit for fronting here because you may not care that much about football, but you always know the score. You are always telling me every weekend if you won or lost and what the score was. When have I told you what the score was? I don't even know what the score was for the last game. You're always aware. No. no, no, no. I don't know the score. I know our school record. Like Mm -hmm. how many wins and losses we have. Yeah, but like you'll tell me. You'll be... uh, Because I I remember last weekend I said Marshall lost. And you were like, yeah, I I did too. No, I said this is the first game we've lost all year. And now we're four and one. I, I, that's not the score. I'm that's just our saying school that's record. more than I ever knew. <laughs> that is not the score. We lost four to one. <laughs> I would, that's not possible in football. <laughs> Hold on, no. <laughs> that's not possible. That's well, okay. Four would be. You can't get one point. You, if you can't got, like, get one. Two, no, two the point one is impossible. But you could, <laughs> you could get, you could get two. Yeah. So yeah, the four right, is unless possible, you get points taken the, away. The one is not. The one is like possible. you miss the touchdown, but you make the extra point somehow. There was. I remember back in middle school, there was a pep rally, and this is what actually inspired me to try to get on a team. I think it was probably during my first year of middle school where, and I don't know if you remember this, Tay, where they had all of the teams come out 
they used to do that in middle school it wasn't just the football team it was everybody so they would like have a big assembly and have like all everyone who's on a team that is currently playing. I mean, like if it wasn't the season for it, they wouldn't have them out there. But like everybody who was on any team that was playing right now, come out on the floor of the gym with like the cheerleaders and our mascot, somebody dressed as a, as a black Hawk and everybody would like stand out there. And then they played, I remember this is what stuck in my head. They played, we are the champions. <laughs> and I was oh, looking man. at them all and thinking, I want to, out there i, I want to be a champion <laughs> i want to be a champion like all those sportos can i be a champion too sportos? all those sports stars so then i went and tried out for the basketball team and didn't make it <laughs> <laughs> that's tried it out for the basketball team i did i did try out for the basketball Could team. never see you playing basketball i was ever. so bad dad wanted it so he oh well, yeah he, I mean, and I really wanted to do it. I really did. And we practiced and practiced, and I just could not. I was not good at that. But then I tried out for the tennis team the next year and made it. Yeah. But they never did that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now Sydney's a, uh, she can never be a champion. We're never playing that song again. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> oh. But it was a really, I remember getting swept up in that moment in, like, the concept of school spirit and, like, seeing all of these kids that I went to school with elevated to the status of champion <laughs> by the song in the gym yeah in your middle school in my middle school and thinking i i get it or the oldest champions there are probably 13 years old <laughs> i get it now this is something i care about it never again it was never something you cared about ever again it's a weird concept right like the idea that you love your school above other places where people learn yeah. Isn't it kind of, I mean, like, if you break it down like that, does because I'm starting, it starts to feel weird to me when I say it like that. Yeah. But, I mean, I, well, and also, is it really, is, is the learning any part of the school spirit? Is it like, I love going here to learn my math? <laughs> like, there was never, <laughs> and, and I would love to have a pep rally where you just bring out the whole math department, like, to, like, something, like, thunderstruck, <laughs> like, everybody just comes running out, like, trigonometry teacher, woo! Like, that would be great. But, you know, I think, I think it's it's pretty focused on what we have spirit for. And I don't think it's bad. I just, I don't be like, oh, yeah, this is where I go to learn. That's not I, part of it. I, yeah, I guess I, I felt like school spirit was supposed to transcend the sports teams, though. I always felt like it was supposed to evolve into this real, like, passion for the place you went to school. So High School Musical. Is that what that's about? They're really into their school. At the end of the, at the end of the first movie, they're all singing about Wildcats. Yeah, they really got it going See, on. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't uh, that and that that especially in high school that eluded me. Like, I didn't dislike our school. This is not me hating on our our high school. It was not that I hated it or thought it was a bad high school compared to other high schools. Mm, it was just no. I mean, I I really didn't. It was just like, I mean, it's where I go to school. I yeah. know I know historical facts and mathematical equations I did not know previously. Thank you. Thank you, school. I mean, I don't know that yeah. it didn't it didn't click for me. I think they try to make it as less about school as possible, like to make you forget that you're going here to learn, <laughs> to try to encourage you to come here, even though you have to come here to learn, to try to encourage you to come be a part of school. So they try to make you love the school. Yeah, I mean, I like, think about it. Like, I would be less inclined to miss school on a spirit weekday where everyone's dressing up in costumes and we're, you know you get to mm -hmm. dress up and no one's as focused on class and stuff than i would be on a regular day so like if you could just wear whatever you wanted any day you think you'd be more likely to go to school that's a no. great question like yeah eliminate the school spirit part what if they were just like and now here are the themes for this week. <laughs> Can you imagine it's that? wizards school? every day. Just let's all be wizards. <laughs> Next week is going to be cars. <laughs> You'd run out of things after a while. You'd be like, well, it's uh, hippie week again. Wasn't that last week? Yeah, it's going to be next week, too. I don't know. But kids like to dress as hippies, I think. <laughs> that seems to be the go-to Halloween costume for anyone who's too lazy to come up with a Halloween costume. I don't know why all of ever apparently people think teens are really into themed clothing days because now our football games have turned into themed games it's like they'll theme to what you should wear for the game shouldn't shouldn't you just like wear the school colors yeah like that's one of the themes also like a green out or like a gold out or like a white out and they throw green and gold powder paint everywhere oh which is very messy um 
but they also have like a Hawaiian themed game and like a hippie themed <laughs> game and an America themed game. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's less intimidating or more intimidating. If you're the visiting team and you show up and the home team stands are filled with a bunch of people dressed in like Hawaiian garb, like they're all in lays and Hawaiian shirts and they all look like totally chilled out. I don't know if you think okay, we're going to we're going to totally kick these kick these guys butts or yeah. They are crazy. <laughs> we gotta watch out. We don't know what they're up to. <laughs> it's even worse because now they've started theming the away games. It's like we'll go to someone else's school and they'll all be wearing like there was one game where we played someone who's pretty close and their mascot is the wolves. Mm-hmm. So our theme was supposed to be dressing like warriors and we're hunting the wolves. Ooh. Like everyone like wore warriors? like everyone wore like togas, like like, like what? What? These are all <laughs> warriors. Is not, warriors is not the right like, word. Warriors? That, that no, word. Like that I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> what kind of warriors? Uh, I don't. I think warriors is the wrong word. But uh, the theme was basically supposed to be everyone wears togas and like. I, I didn't realize that the, the Greeks fought wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't make sense. This that might be on thing. me culturally. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know all of those ancient, those famous ancient Greek battles between togaed men and wolves. Oh, yes. Hmm. Riley, we're not giving you a hard time. We're just confused. Okay, whatever. Go ahead. Keep laughing at me. No. First, you I laugh don't... at me for not passing my driver's test. Now you pa- laugh at me for something <laughs> that I didn't even do. Your school made it up. It's not your fault. Exactly. So why are you laughing at me? Warriors dressed in togas fighting wolves. Got it. Okay. I don't even go to the games. <laughs> Okay, do do you feel like you love your school more because of the togas and wolves? No. Okay. I dislike my school very much. <laughs> oh, man. So I just we, really want to see, like, a guy in a toga fight a, fight a wolf and see how that, <laughs> how that plays out. I don't really know. I don't even know if that's who you'd want to be to fight the wolf. Like, maybe a I, bear? Could a bear kill a wolf? I'm My brain's going in a direction that I can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just let the wolves live, guys. Jeez. <laughs> We won that game. Obviously, if you need to take out the wolves, you need vampires. Uh. I don't even know why we're having this debate. (laughs) I shouldn't even think of that. You're laughing at me. You're laughing at me, and that's what Sydney comes up with. I'm not. (laughs) I'm just saying, like, let's be realistic. In the real world, how do we kill wolves? Well, with vampires. In the real world, (laughs) how do we kill wolves? We don't. We let them live their lives. We don't mess with them. Well, that's fair. We're not, con- We're not talking about werewolves, Sydney. We're not talking about with you. people that turn into wolves. We're talking about actual animals, <laughs> wolves that I, will eat you. I was trying to connect with you utilizing popular teen fiction. You think Twilight is now a modern popular teen fiction? It's still in, right? No. No? no. Is it out I, now? Yes. I also don't think Twilight is canon for reality, Sydney. It's not. <laughs> Vampires don't <laughs> shimmer in the sunlight. No, but Sydney, vampires aren't real. <laughs> what? If we're talking about real realistic vampires, let's talk about the vampire diaries. <laughs> the, the, there's the real vampires. They're just like normal people. They don't sparkle in the sunlight. They can go out in the sun, but only if they have their rings. Or like if they put a sheet over their head like that vampire on Preacher. Cassie. Are you talking about like a yeah. ghost costume? No. Like a Charlie like, Brown you ghost to, costume? Like, hold some, as long as it's like the sun, the rays of the sun aren't directly, like you could just wear a lot of clothes and you'd be cool. Ah, like a poncho. Maybe a sombrero. Yeah, like a poncho. Will so do like it. Marceline from Adventure Time. She just carries around an umbrella. There you go. Yeah, that's that theory of vampires. To, okay. to give them more flexibility so that you can shoot in the day more. Like right. Like your right. TV show or, or movie. Right. I think I think Spike made some moves with a blanket over his head on Buffy. That's a, I think that's he a consistent did. thought of vampires. As long as you have something over your head, you're fine. He did. I remember him running steaming with a blanket over his head in the yeah. rooms many times. See, if you just incorporate witches into your fiction of vampires as they do in the vampire diaries then you have ancient witch- witches who uh cast spells on rings to make them immune to daylight speaking of rings <laughs> class rings Let's you're talk talking about, about class, class rings, rings. I, wasn't that a good transition that's a good transition because we got wildly out to left field there I that's know, a I'm sports sorry. thing i got a sports thing in there though left field um <laughs> That is one of the fields. Now, is that stage right or stage left? 
<laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> Where, which way is the stage? See, the players no. face both directions. So are you in the house or the stage? That's what I'm saying. Is it stage uh, right and stage left? Stage directions are what where you are on the stage. I know. But and like house right, house left is yeah, when you're in the house. Yeah, but if you're in the outfield, then you're still facing the batter. So like whose perspective are we going from here? It's it's the, the crowd. Looking so up. we're doing theater in the round. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. And you know which one is left field. I don't. What, uh, what if you're out in outfield and you're looking towards your right? But I guess that's it's left from the field. Batter. It's from the batter's I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't play softball. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Anyway, did you, Taylor, did you get a class ring? Nope. Riley, are you going to? I, I didn't even get a yearbook. <laughs> They gave us the papers to fill out to bit, get one and like decide what you wanted on it and how mm-hmm. what you wanted to say freshman year. Yeah. Which like is crazy mm-hmm. because then like I don't know what I'm going to want when I'm a senior. Knowing me, <laughs> I probably would have picked I didn't pick out one. I didn't order one. But knowing me, I probably would have like picked out something my freshman year, gotten at my senior year, be like, oh, I just got my class ring. I haven't thought about this in three years. Open up the box and I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> Why did I do this? So wait, you order it now and then get it in you four You can get years? it whenever, but the uh, you can choose to get it. Like when you, the same company that gives us our class rings gives us our caps and gowns and cords and stuff. Right. So when you go to pick up your caps and gowns and cords, you can also pick up your class ring. Okay. See, I got one my senior year. Yeah. I have a class ring. I do still to this What's day. What's on your class ring? Uh, I got drama masks. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I think that was it. I don't think I got another. Because there's space on each side. Yeah. I think maybe my initials are on the other side. Mm-hmm. And then, then just the green, the class color, the green. Are you going to get your class color? The ring was gold, and then the, the gem on it is green. I mean, you can get any gem, correct? Yeah, I you can yeah. decide whatever color. You know, now they have camo metal. If you oh. want the metal part of your ring that holds the gem to be camo, you can get pink camo, brown camo, green camo. I feel like, well, I don't know the idea of a class ring, but my thought would have been that it would have united you. Like, this is this denotes that I went to the school and it has the year I graduated, and you can easily look at it and go, ah, I see that you're a proud graduate of Huntington High, if people say things like that. Yeah. Once they're all different, like once some of them are like pink camo and some of them are green and gold and some of them are, yeah. I don't know, purple. Like, I mean, does it, um, what's I, the point? I don't really know what the point is. I've never really understood the point of a class ring other than I guess that, but that you were just talking about. But like the only thing I would want on it then if it's to commemorate me graduating in that year or like graduating at that time and going to that school would be the year I graduated and my school colors. I think that was on there too. Like the year I graduated. You could pick, I, I don't think you even have to get the year you graduated on your ring. I think that's a thing you could pick to take up one of the spaces on the side if you want. Then it's no longer a class ring and just it's just a fashion ring. Yeah, like it's just <laughs> like you're saying like, I did drama and I did show choir. So here's my little logo for drama and here's my little logo for show choir and here's my purple gym with my pink camo medal. That sounds fantastic, though, if you describe it that way. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, like, I thought it was... <laughs> Taylor <laughs> wants this ring now. But they, like, <laughs> that ring, they're like, you, you're into drama and show choir now as an adult? No, I was when I went to Nameless High School that this... And you don't know what year I graduated do and you don't know where I went to school. Now, I this was not even a thing, I don't think, when we were in school, unless you know differently, Tay, but do people give each other their rings, like, as signs of affection? Um, Here, I wear my class that, ring because I love you. I saw that in Greece. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was an episode of New Girl when Schmidt helps CC get her GD, GED. He buys her a class ring. Yeah. But I don't think that's the same thing. No, that's not the same thing. I uh, I mean, did you remember anybody doing that, Ty? No, and I, I don't know. I was also part of a very specific, very small group of buddies that none of us, I think, got class rings. I mean, Dad gave Mom his class ring. Oh, that's sweet. And then Mom chucked it into the woods when she was mad at him one night. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and they've never found it. But I've heard that story. I could not tell you how many times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I will say this, Riley. If you decide not to buy a class ring, I would not blame you because I know I have one. It is in my jewelry box. 
I have not worn it since I was a senior in high school. Yeah, now they've I come out. I think one with, day when I graduated, yeah. and I don't, I have not worn it since. Now they come out with class keychains, <laughs> like a little like dog tag. Yeah. You can get a gym like embedded into it with your year and something, because I guess they think people are more likely to keep that. Yeah, maybe. Which I mean, yeah, I'd be more likely to put that on my keychain and just have that with me all the time instead of wearing a big giant gaudy ring. <laughs> Well, and I, I think that also, you know, like, I, Sydney, I think you and I were part of a bit of the, the eye roll generation where it's like school spirit was kind of like a Ugh, school. Like we our I think our cultural icons were very not about um, school spirit. <laughs> no, no, there was a big uh, backlash to school spirit, I'd say, during our youth. Maybe that we were the, I don't know, freaks and geeks and Daria and I don't know, the, the alternative grunge culture. Like that was very not like, you know. Lots of, yeah. That not know. that that is better. Or right. if. Uh, my so-called what? life. There we go. <laughs> Jordan um, Catalano never had a glass ring. There you go. Yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> we'll we'll fix that someday. Hey Riley, uh, we need to break down Spirit Week and all of the fun and games that happen. But before we do that, let's go check out the group message. Um. Okay. I'm gonna start. I want to start. So I, you all can, so Taylor can start the next one. Um, okay. I'm going to start this one for Alan from Tyson and Katie. And they say, happy 30th, Alan. You're probably the most generous guy in the world and the whole world needs to know it. Thanks for sharing so many of your passions with us over the past six years. We couldn't ask for a better friend. Love you, buddy. Tyson and Katie. Oh, that's well, very nice. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, Alan. Happy 30s. Yeah, do something fun. I just turned 32. I know it could be kind of a scary place, but just take yourself somewhere nice, man. Yeah, really live it up. The 30s yeah. are the 30s are the new 20s, basically. I've declared them that, Alan. I'm fine with that. As a 30-year-old woman, I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. Does that make the 20s the new teens and then I am an infant? Yes. There we go. Baby, Alan, we just, sweet baby rewrote, Riley. we just rewrote the maturation process for you. So have a happy birthday with that in mind. Happy birthday, Alan. Now I'm an infant because of you. <laughs> Who else we got? Uh, well, we also um, have a message for Alley Cat. And this message is from Big D. And uh, this says, happy birthday, Alley Cat. Uh, surprise. Also, please start listening to the Adventure Zone. Otherwise, you're just pretending to be cool. P.S. I kept a secret. This message also has a request for a, <laughs> a version of the Happy Birthday. But interesting fact, that's copyrighted music that we can't sing on the we podcast. We can't sing that song. Yeah, we can't sing you Happy Birthday. Um, uh, but, but that's okay because Taylor wrote a Happy Birthday <laughs> song. We did right one so we better. the show today. We made you your very own Happy Birthday song. And uh, it goes like this. This is a birthday song that we can sing for free. This is a birthday song that was written by me. We can't sing the other song because we will get sued. So have a happy birthday, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yay. Happy birthday, Alley Cat. Now, if anybody Here's else on. wants to use that song, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you owe us money. Taylor wrote it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Took her so long. Took her hard work. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears went into that song. Yeah. So, so happy birthday, Alley Cat. Taylor wrote her first song. Is that your first song you've ever written? Yeah, first song ever. There Just for you. There you go. Just for you. <laughs> so. Happy birthday. Yay. All right. So, Riley. Yeah. Spirit Week. Now, we, we had Spirit Week back in the day. Uh, as Taylor and I were recounting uh, previously, the when we had Spirit Week, same idea, for a week prior to the homecoming game in order to get everybody really pepped, really mm -hmm. pepped up, mm -hmm. you know, because pep is what it's all about. Right. So that we're all feeling very peppy. You get to wear something other than like regular street clothes every day to right. school. And uh, my favorite day and Taylor's was always pajama day. <laughs> Wish we still had pajama day. Yeah. That was that was the only day I would usually participate in Spirit Week. Spirit Week was tough because I agree with you. Pajama day was great. I was always all about pajama day. And then we usually had some sort of like, was really kind of like find a costumey, like Halloween costume. Like Not Halloween, day. but like a character day kind of thing. Um, like we had superhero day, I remember, like things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was one of the times I dressed as Sailor Moon in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was superhero day. Yeah. Um, so we had some fun things like that that I might have participated in. I found uh, Nerd Day a little offensive. Yeah. We have that now. I agree. 
I dress as that every day of my life. <laughs> I do it proudly. I actually, we have Nerd Day this year, which is tomorrow, the day this episode will be out. And um, I told mom the different days, and she said, oh, well, you already have those clothes in your closet. Kind of laughed for a minute. I was like, oh, that's funny. I need to get an outfit together, though, for real. She was like, no, I was being serious. You already have those clothes in your closet. Go look. I'm sure you'll find something. Sure enough, I went and looked. I found a pair of knee socks that I have that have beakers on the sides of them. So, why? Well, so, but what are you going to wear for Nerd Day? Cindy. Yeah, I'm still confused by this. I wear periodic table shoes to work on a regular basis. Can I borrow those? <laughs> Actually, just, you can if you want to. I'm just surprised that Nerd Day is still a thing just because I feel like, like, has, haven't we gotten... Are we all in the understanding that nerds are cool? Like, hasn't that that ha- dawned on our culture? That's kind of what I thought. Like, I, I should should nerd morph into something different? Like, who's who's nerdy to the nerds? Ooh, I think they're nerdy to the nerds. They're nerdy to themselves. I mean, if Maybe. it was like celebrate the things that you love that are supposedly nerdy day, that'd be cool. Like. Are you really into video games? Come dressed as, like, Link. Great. But is it just like, oh, I'm a nerd. I have glasses on and I'm carrying a math book. I'm a nerd. Like, <laughs> no, you just I might mean, have a vision problem and you care about numbers. I, th- <laughs> I think that's probably what they mean, right, Riley? Is that yeah. there's still, it's still that, like, really old, I mean, that has been outdated even before Taylor and I were growing up. It's a stereotype of nerd that doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, no, I mean, doesn't exist. I mean, there is literally no one at my school that actually looks like this stereotypical description. It's Eugene from her. Greece. Yes, it is Eugene from Greece. It is like plaid button-ups buttoned all the way to the neck, tucked into like khaki shorts with a pocket protector and d- glasses with duct tape in the middle of them. Right. Like stuff like that. Which like that, and that was, I, I'd say that goes back, I mean... It, when we say Greece, like no joke, like we're talking an old stereotype of the nerd. I'd say that you, you still saw that in like eighties movies. Revenge like, of the nerds. Yeah, like the nerdy the nerdy kids who who were like that. And that stopped being funny when all of those nerds invented computers and the internet. <laughs> yeah. And then um are making a lot more money than everybody else and basically running and changing the world. I think that that all stopped kind of being a like Maybe yeah. we shouldn't make fun of anybody now, anymore now. I, I will say. Because <laughs> they're your boss. Uh, I feel like the reason for this day this year, this specific year, is that for some reason this year, they started theming all the days to the theme of the homecoming dance, mm-hmm. which I have never been aware of a theme of the homecoming dance because it's not like that's how you're supposed to dress at the homecoming dance. Like that affects the decorations. I like, thought it was always like either fairy tale or under the sea. Yeah. Or... <laughs> An enchanted wonderland. Yeah, I don't know. You something would think something with like flowers whimsical or, or something. Yeah. Mermaids in uh, space. <laughs> <laughs> Just something that you can you can do with balloons and crepe paper, right? Yes. Like there's only so many themes yeah. that, that uh uh-huh. um, and this year it's Candyland. Okay. And they a children's it? board game. That's yeah. not weird. Right. And they themed all the days of the week to a different type of candy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think the most obvious is nerd's candy and dress as a nerd. Because oh. if you look at the other days of the week, they're very much a stretch to get to what you're actually looking for. Um, like today was Jolly Rancher Day, Rancher Day, Farmer, Cowboy, that kind of day. Right. Which so I think was also supposed to be to make fun of your rival school. Make fun of our rival school. Which uh, I think stereotypically, if you're looking at our two schools, if you go to my school and you're looking at the other school, they're a bunch of like cowboys, like they wear like camo and hunting clothes to school. They're the county school and you guys are the city school. Yeah, we're the city school. So um, So there's that like rural versus city kind of. Yeah, those are basically our stereotypes. Mm. And we can't say that it is that school's day because we have had problems with that in the past. Yes. With the other school dressing as our school and it being uh, very it gets, It's gotten very vicious. It's between, gotten very vicious and very offensive. And, yeah. Um, but, and then Wednesday is Milky Way Day or Galaxy and Space Day. Mm-hmm. It's like everyone's wearing like like Star Wars or something like that. Something outer space themed. Which which doctor are you dressing as? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay. I have a Fez <laughs> like in the closet might, directly behind might you. might dress as the 11th doctor. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. There's also a super cute TARDIS dress you could probably get before. You can also 
mm-hmm. dust off that old Sailor Moon costume because that would work. That would read. Yeah. I'd be worn, would worn by all three Smurl sisters. <gasps> oh, I love this. Uh, oh, I'm all about this. Uh, I'm gonna continue. If you so. don't want to, if you don't want to make that big of a commitment, I do have a shirt that is in. Um, it's a memorial T-shirt for Pluto. <laughs> That seems a little bit more my speed <laughs> for the spirit week. Rotate in peace, um, Pluto. <laughs> no longer a planet. Uh, and then Thursday is Snickers Day, which this one is the biggest reach for me because the catchphrase of Snickers is you're not you and you're hungry. So you're dressing as like your alter ego or a, or a character. So it's character day. <laughs> yeah. And then Friday is just spirit day, dress, dressing green and gold. Uh, that Thursday is a very big logical leap there to get to that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now I have a proposal for Nerd Day. Okay. This is just a thought. Okay. Take it literally. Yeah, I was gonna and say yes. This is a big <laughs> pink anamorphous blob to there show up. Now yeah. here's a better suggestion. And you're a pink nerd. I love um, it. I think people will get a big kick out of it. Not that. <laughs> tell That's mom my she, better tell suggestion. Mom she has just to a, make the costume. <laughs> a paper mache mask that has armholes. <laughs> if there was okay, let me tell you. If any human was going to pull off. An actual like nerd, co- like the candy nerd costume. Why would costume. you not dress as the box? Well, well, okay, sure. I'm just saying <laughs> that Mary Smurl can do it. I'm just yes. saying if anybody can do it, Mom made a spider <laughs> costume for Charlie in two hours. Yeah. So, um, have you all seen the picture that's circulating on Twitter that it was a ranch day at their school, like it, on their on this Twitter this post school mm-hmm. and everyone dresses like like we did today like rancher day except this one girl dressed as a giant bottle of ranch dressing <laughs> see that's awesome that's, that's what funny. i'm saying that's great i'm saying dress do the box thing if that makes you feel better that's a lot of artwork you're gonna have to do though it's also Ooh, tomorrow wait or <laughs> is you buy a bunch of like boxes of nerds and make like go all like project runway on it and make a an adorable <gasps> top or dress. Make I did a this dress out of nerd. Do so it. I had a. I went to a party a couple years ago. It was like a themed um, uh, party. We all had different different themes for groups. It was like a. I want to try to think a scavenger hunt. So my group was freshman year. So I made. I bought like an absurd amount of ramen, like uh, sixty packs of ramen, and I made them into. I took the packs off and made them into a skirt, and then covered them on a bustier. And made a, really a ramen cool dress. dress. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. I remember that. I really like that dress. Yeah. And, it, and I also maybe have worked that skirt into a couple outfits unabashedly. I, I am saying, you only go to school a half day. What are you doing for the afternoon? Let's go as soon as we're done. This is what I'm doing for the afternoon right now. That's what we're afternoon. doing. We're going to go to the store. We're going to buy all the nerds they have. Uh, it's almost Halloween. You know they have a ton of They nerds. have those Halloween candy aisles out now. Uh, and we're you can use yeah. you can use the plastic bags too and make like bows out of them. Just staple them in the middle. This is going to be great. I and hope you all know I'm I not get doing to, this. I get to eat what? all the nerds. Because I was going to say, I that, like, them. you get stuck with all these nerds afterwards that you just get to have. Just to eat. They also just hand out the candy from each theme day, though, on each day. So I'm already going to get a lot of nerds. I, I yeah, know, well, but you're going to be able to say things. I'm good. Dress. This could be so cool. No. This could really take you to the next level in high school. <laughs> I feel do like you, this does the opposite. Do you want to be the coolest? Yes, and that is why I'm not. I'm just kidding. I don't want to be the coolest, but um, that is why I will not be dressing as a nerd box. So you're definitely not going to dress as a box of nerds. Huh? No, but like a stylish nerd dress. It's like the, the let's show off your craftiness and make like, it work. My school gets very hot, and those nerds. If you hold an, I, I don't know if you ever noticed. Like I've had like a handful of nerds candy before, like just like without a box with a handful of nerds, they melt no. and leave that color on no, your hands. No, I don't mean like actually cover your human skin in nerds. I'm not I saying mean, your human skin. I'm saying like a boxes. dress. Oh, I thought you meant like a dress. No, use like blue on it. And put you some should nerds open on. the boxes up and like flatten them out. Yeah, like the flattened out boxes and then the plastic bags. Like between the two, I think you have enough material there to make something cute. Now, see, this is if I was there, I could do this for you. And this is this upsets think this me. Is going I, to be happening. I don't know that I'm crafty enough to pull it off. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be. Happening. But I could, mom could do it. Mom could do it. Mary Smurl could make this. I think happen. I'm just gonna stick with the uh, the outfit I have before, and we'll just go with that. Uh, I I will say one other day that you didn't mention for this week, but I remember us having was Twin Day. We did have that last year. Mm. I always hated Twin Day. 
it was the I found it a very stressful day. Does it, it meant you had to win? It meant you had to have a friend. <laughs> it meant it meant you had to have a friend who necessarily not just like I mean because I had people that I was familiar with that I would maybe even call friends. You had to have someone that liked you more than they liked anyone else. Exactly. Um, I'm gonna be real <laughs> honest. Freshman year. I didn't go to school on Twins Day, Twin Wednesday, mm-hmm. because I didn't have anyone to twin with. Oh. <laughs> we Riley, didn't have that day you, last year. Though. Do you want, if they have it next year, do you want me to just come with you no. as your big sister mm-hmm. and See, dress uh, as a twin with you? I think my, that's less cool than not going. Yeah, but my, my twin is is podcasting sensation Sydney Smurl. Like, how is that not, how, how is that not cool? I also don't think you're allowed to just come to school with your little <laughs> sister for an entire day. Listen, I'm just here because my sister doesn't have anybody to twin with. See, and that sound makes me sound sad. <laughs> I I remember a lot of people doing triplets and quadruplets and such. Just, I, I mean, I guess that was better to like not leave people out. And yeah. yeah. So you didn't have to rank your friendships. Right. I did do that in elementary school. And also a lot of it had to do with like, do you own like my parents are not going to go buy me a new like before you have buying power my parents are yeah. not going to go buy me a new shirt to match you do you have like a red shirt <laughs> well, a red shirt. that was a lot of our twin days were like do you have okay what color do you, do you have blue do you, okay purple what, what okay what color plain t-shirt do you have and i'll wear that and then <laughs> jeans okay everyone wears jeans you you want to wear the giant jinko ones you want to wear the really big ones <laughs> let's wear the giant jeans and then that little baby doll tee cool so how look. many butterfly clips should we put in our hair? <laughs> 10 or 11. <laughs> I want all of them. I can't do the twisty things, though. Uh, but, I, yeah, I I did. I will say that the, the rest of Spirit Week would have been fun. I, I still, though, want to know, as Taylor and I have alluded to, neither of us were particularly into the concept of, of school spirit. Even though, you know, it's weird, too. I played soccer in high school. Taylor, you mentioned you played tennis. So we were on sports teams. I cared if we won. I mean, I was very concerned with winning on our team, but I, it wasn't like because I wanted our, I wanted to bring glory to our school. I just always wanted to win everything I did. Well, that's a smurl thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, um, I, I think part of that might be because we go to a we went to a really big school. Yeah. Like you know, you just don't even know half the people in your. You're great. It's just kind of like it's, it's hard to even be united in one in, in anything. I, I mean, I remember skipping out because there were pep rallies and they were largely about the football team. I mean, I don't know. They probably had ones about the basketball team, too. I would say those are the top, like the two big teams um, and the cheerleaders were there and the band would play and the majorettes would do whatever majorettes do and everybody would dance around and cheer and yell and scream things. <laughs> I don't know. That was very dismissive of the majorettes. They spun their batons. They did cool uh, stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Our mother was a majorette, Sydney. This is okay. I am not knocking on majorettes. I never knew what all the different. There were like the cheerleaders, which I knew because they had pom poms, and then there were the majorettes. You're right, and they were the ones with the batons. And then there were people holding flags, and then there were also people who just danced. And I never knew who all the people were. Dance team majorettes. There's also people with flags. That dance, but with flags. Flag, flag team? Flag team. Is it a flag, flag team? Core. Flag core. Flag core. That sounds like a thing that probably was real. We don't have a dance team anymore. I wish oh. we did, but we don't have a dance team There anymore. were just a lot of different groups of people dancing, I remember, and sometimes yelling things and sometimes not, and sometimes they would have props and sometimes not. <laughs> I hid in the drama room most of the time. I don't know. <laughs> See, that's I can't really chime in here because I once I had any sort of like ability to like maybe my freshman year I was forced to go because I didn't know any better. But once I got like in with the art wing and, and at our school, like all of the art rooms are on this weird little annex that is like completely on its own and completely separate from the entire rest of the building. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's great because that ensures safety. And that's I spent all of my pep rallies just in the art department. Like I got some stuff to finish. Is it okay if I stay here? I'm gonna go read a comic <laughs> book in the dark room. <laughs> See, you at least said something. I just disappeared and hid in the orchestra pit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't alone. Like I wasn't sitting there like by myself. Like hee hee, I skipped another pep rally. <laughs> I kept a tally on the wall of the orchestra pit of all the pep rallies. <laughs> it's good. No, I mean, like, the other drama kids were there with me. But um, now, the art, although you, you say that, Tay, but, like, there was a place for art in school spirit because you you art kids designed all of our banners and you made our walls 
fancy on Spirit Week and uh, you know I, I yes uh, I did I did I think I've mentioned right I did our school like our my class banner uh, luckily my year our colors were black and silver and our our flower I believe was the rose so I just made the like gothiest like. Like, giant of the homicidal maniac made a banner for his school, and I was so pleased with it. Uh, but then there was also, yeah, you always de- decorate a different hallway. And I remember for my senior year, our hallway, we, like, when you're a senior, you get the big fancy front hallway, and it was a space theme. And I had, and you're going to remember these, Sid, I had stand-ups of R2-D2 and C-3PO. Yeah. We had inherited from our uncle, and they were super cool. They were full-size stand-ups that stayed in my room as room decorations, because, yeah. And yeah, first uh, can't be Mike, actually. Yeah, and after a lot of yeah. deliberation, I decided to put them in the hallway for our, our spirit week, and somebody stole my C three PO. I know. I didn't I've know never that seen happened. the C three PO. Yeah, two D two. Well, and when I realized That's it was like, sad. I was on my way to a class, and I realized he was missing, and so I just like took the R two D two and like walked it through the art room. I was like, this is staying here because I can't trust humans anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you can't have nice things. This is why you can't have cool robots. C three PO was too good for you. <laughs> Beautiful flower, too good for this world. <laughs> oh, that's really sad. I'm I'm sorry, but at the same time, if someone out there has your C three PO. Maybe it's your soulmate. I know, and you know, and like I, I looking back, like if I had seen a a Star Wars, an excellent Star Wars stand up in a hallway, and there was no one around, I would have had taken it. I would have had the thought. I would have had the you temptations. You wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, wouldn't have deprived someone of that joy. I I would like to think I'm not the kind of person, but you don't know who you are until you're in the moment, and that's when you find out. <laughs> so I never... You're the kind of person that would take a cardboard cut out of C three PO in your high that, school hallway. We all have that moment when we're standing face to face, eye to eye with C three PO, and that's when we find out who we really are. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> if you're listening out there, person that stole my C three PO, I just want it back. <laughs> It's been like 16 years. I just want it back. Or are you single and cool? Maybe you want a date. I've, I've got an R2-D2. <laughs> um, and don't, and have you gotten over the stealing part of your life? Like, stop stealing things. <laughs> Do not steal things not anymore. theft here. I'm, I'm, I, you know, like, I'm, it's not a deal breaker per se, but... <laughs> No, we would prefer no no thieves in the family, please. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, well, uh, but d- did you incorporate into the banner your class's motto? That's my last question about this banner. I have to know. Oh, absolutely not, absolutely not. And this is this is another sore spot of my senior year. Uh, our class originally voted. You, know, you vote on like your class colors, your class motto, your song, whatever. And like, not everybody was super psyched. To a lot of people, didn't vote. The people that did vote elected as our motto Hakuna Matata, which <laughs> which means no worries for, for the rest of your days. Of your days. <laughs> it's a problem-free it, it's a really philosophy. philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> Hakuna um, Matata, which I was fine with, and was actually one of the like given the options, I was like, that's the best one. Let's go with that. Uh, but then, like when people saw it, the class got super mad that it was such a like quote unquote lame. Uh, school motto that uh, they demanded a revote and they got it and so when everybody participated and everybody got in on it the thing we ended up with was get her done that is so oh, gross that is so ah, disgusting get her done so gross no <laughs> I'm asking you everyone listening if you if you still use the phrase get her done as part of your of your daily vocabulary part of your pejorative language your, your jargon please Please stop. Don't, please. Please stop. I, I beg of you. Please. Uh, if it, Even if it's just for me. I don't even... I'm not going to give you any other reasons. Just for me. Please. <laughs> please stop. I find it so yucky. It's so gross. Well, yeah. and I, It's so yucky. I think in some way it actually fully represented my attitude towards high school, which is just, oh, just get through it. Just get through it. Get college, it college follows and then you'll be very... Yeah, so so maybe that worked <laughs> like in a horrible way. Just get her done. Just get her done. <laughs> no, just but just like get through it. Can we just we'll decide on instead of get her done, like even if it's just like get it done. <laughs> this too shall pass. There we go. <laughs> this is only temporary. Oh man, if that was a high school quote, that would be the best class. It's like everybody joins are. together. It's dust it's in the dust wind. <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> 
can we just can we go with that instead of i can't even say it can, can you Do start you, uh, riley start trying to make some of these excellent alternatives popular before your um, senior year would, for your own good i would like to suggest make it work <laughs> oh, okay i like that, that. that's, that's my philosophy all through high school is just i only have a night i only have an hour left until i have to go to bed and this project is due tomorrow make it work that's not yeah. a bad philosophy for life right and i mean I, tim gunn that's a pretty decent role model yeah. in my book you know if, at, if we're voting make yeah. it work <laughs> there we go um riley do you think before we go do you think school spirit is alive and well today no no i think it's like half and half i think there are a lot of people in my school that are really 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 excited about school spirit really excited excited about school and football games and then there's people like me who are kind of in the middle like they don't hate school Mm -hmm. Uh, okay i'm gonna change that they don't hate our school but they don't love our school they just go there and like they'll dress up for the spirit days probably won't be at the football game probably won't be dressing up at the football game but they have to be at school anyway so might as well make it fun and then there are the people that are like oh man i hate this school i hate everything about this school i'm going to dress up or i'm not going to dress up on purpose just to rub it in the face of everyone in the school how much i hate this school so patty simcox isn't going away anytime soon but i mean she's still not necessarily universal her spirit is still alive and well and like about a third of our school there, those are the people who, by the way, someday you're going to be getting Facebook messages from about class reunions, and yeah. you're going to go, no. I can see that. No, <laughs> I, I guess good. that that's the final, I think, extension of school spirit is your reunion. And Sid, did you ever go to one? I went to my 10-year reunion. Justin and I were there for uh, about a half an hour, and I said, okay, I get it, <laughs> and I left. It just wasn't, it's, I don't know. I don't want to insult anybody who does dig class reunions. If that's your thing, it, I, I, because we have Facebook and such, it just seemed kind of redundant. Anybody I want to keep in touch yeah, with, I keep in touch with. This would have been your 15 year, right? Gosh, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2001, 2016. Yeah, this would have been my 15 year. But I mean, I, I really, like, I keep in touch with people that I'm still interested in what they're doing with their lives through the magic of the internet and everyone else. I'm, I hope, I wish them well. Yeah. Unless I don't. And that's it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I don't know, Tay. What it, you didn't go, though, right? I did not go. And it, it's funny because I think every, like, anyone that, you know, and I, I didn't have a miserable high school experience. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. And there were people that were actively mean to me. But, you know, you always have that thought, like, when you're kind of a loser in school, like, I'm going to come back to my reunion and I'm going to, like, have a sick bod and be super successful and be like, you remember? <laughs> mm-hmm. This wasn't good enough for you then. And I think by the time my tenure actually rolled around, I just was like, I don't know. I, it's nothing good, bad, or indifferent. It's like, yeah, like the only person, people that I would actually care about seeing, I still keep in contact with. And I'm, I'm glad that, you know, 30-year-old Taylor doesn't care as much about rolling in and looking cool. There's a bunch <laughs> of people that whose name she can't remember. <laughs> so yeah, that your, your Romeo and Michelle fantasies have ended. They have ended. Not that that isn't a fantastic movie. <laughs> it is a fantastic movie. No, I know what you mean. Because I really thought, like, I'm going to go and, and show everybody that I'm cool now. And um, and I really had I was really worried I was going to have a Liz Lemon moment there, mm-hmm. where right. really everyone who you thought was mean to you in school you were really mean to them. Yeah, that I was mm. the bee all along. Yeah, I was really worried about that, but instead it was just like I don't know. I think everybody kind of was kind of having that moment. We were all kind of looking around like, and there were only like fifty of us there out of yeah. a, out of a class of five hundred or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, well, okay. Good luck, everyone. Bye. Uh-huh. And Justin and I went out and had a nice dinner. Then you went home. Had a lovely evening. Yes, and then we went home. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved on with my life, which I think is what we all probably should do after right. high school. Yeah. Um, Make it work. Go. But, you know, the thing is, ladies, we'll be Highlanders forever. And ever and ever. What? And ever. <laughs> which is uh, weird, because there's supposed to only be one. Yeah, we're <laughs> you thank you i'm gonna decapitate you both after this is over. i mean not for that don't do that <laughs> don't, really. don't say that in the room with somebody that has actual swords okay all right fair D- riley um have a wonderful spirit week thanks Ed. i'll be sure to keep everyone updated and post pictures i hope that you get infected with school spirit by the end of it i don't think that's gonna happen okay i have a really good cream if it causes a rash <laughs> <laughs> um 
now riley you have some people you want to thank yes we, we uh emptied out our po box yes the and other day this, I'm, I'm i have a feeling this is the last of um birthday related messages <laughs> i mean it's like a month away from my birthday mm-hmm. i have a feeling this will be the last we will receive i just wanted to thank nick erica bethany kate jeff and kim for sending me nice birthday messages and erica sent us candles still buffering candles surprise taylor we we hadn't told you yet what um, i got a candle everyone everyone mm-hmm. was a or, well not everyone sydney and taylor were jealous of me because i got the one still buffering candle so as a solution we got six more in the mail what so does still have huh what does still buffering smell like leather jackets nice it's great it's awesome oh, it's, nice. it's a really one you're gonna love it so yeah, we got two for you cool. two for me and two more for Riley. now i have three uh just in time for candle season that's perfect yeah so we got candles when we see you this weekend yeah for candle nights Yay. i will get candles at candle night <laughs> it's perfect it's true that's maybe that's what you do at candle nights i still don't i'm still unclear on the holiday do you give yeah. each other scented candles <laughs> This is Riley's favorite holiday. I ever. love this holiday. <laughs> thank you, listeners. Uh, thank you, as always, sisters, for joining me. Yes. Uh, thank you to Maximum Fun, our network, our host. Please check out MaximumFun.org for all of the other wonderful podcasts that we are uh, kin to. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you uh, to everybody who's on our Facebook group, which grows bigger and better every day. Uh, please come join us at Still Buffering and all of its splinter groups. Uh, I wanted to mention really quick before I forgot. This past week, I was on an episode of our dad and Uncle Michael's podcast, Court Appointed. We yeah. did an ep- they did an episode on Hamilton and the law behind Hamilton, and I was in it. So if you want to go check that out, it is on iTunes. So Court um, Appointed. Court Appointed with, with Michael Meadows and Tommy Smurl. Yeah. So check that out. Um, you can tweet at us at Still Buff. You can email us at stillbuffering at maximumfun.org if you have thoughts, comments, suggestions for topics. Uh, if you want a jumbotron like the two that you heard today, you can go to maximumfun.org forward slash jumbotron and we will do that for you. And Taylor will write you. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody gets a new happy birthday song every time. <laughs> now that we know she has this hidden talent for, her, for not copyrighted happy birthday songs. <laughs> So that's it. That is my one skill. <laughs> uh, um, thank you to the novellas for your theme song, Baby Change yes. Your Mind. This has been Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McElroy. And I'm Taylor Smurl. I am a teenager. And I was two. <laughs> I'm Barbara Gray. I'm Brandy Posey. And I'm Tess Barker. We're Lady to Lady. Do you want to sleep over in your ears? Is that a friend in your pocket or are you just podcast to see me? We're a portable hangout you can bring to the gym, on the subway, or on an oil rig. Seriously, we have listeners who do that. Show with us while we get high with Margaret Cho. Talk showgirls with Katya from Drag Race. And hear Broadway star Anthony Rapp sing Hamilton. I am not throwing away my shot. (laughs) I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. That's Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.